Hello survivors, welcome to my channel. I'm Narc Survivor and I'm going to be talking about the narcissist harassing and stalking you. Yes, the narcissist will harass and stalk you for many months or even years after the relationship is over. They become obsessive once they see that you are able to move on without them. They will spread rumors and create a smear campaign with their fly monkeys. The fly monkeys will then harass and stalk you too. I have done a video specifically on the smear campaign and fly monkeys, so please watch that video for more information. After leaving you, the narcissist loses a significant amount of value, and this value completely deteriorates over time. It seems that the more their value goes, the more they wish they could go back to how things were. Their value deteriorates like sand for an egg timer, and as this volume of sand becomes smaller and smaller, the realization of your value only grows greater and greater. The reason why this happens is because you are becoming awakened to the truth. For so many months or years, the narcissist fed you lies and gaslighted you. So once you have left the narcissist and begin to move on, you start to see the world cl clearly. You start to see them for what they really are. Naturally, this will increase your value in the narcissist's eyes. You re regain your emotional health and realize that you are a good person after all. You redevelop your positive qualities and your boundaries. This is valuable and attractive to the narcissist because they want to smash those boundaries back down. They want to destroy those positive qualities all over again. People can either build or destroy, and the narcissist destroys. The narcissist will hold on to you for so long because in their minds, they believe that they left you. After leaving you, they then searched around for new supply. Once they have found their supply, everything is great at first. But then over time, they start to realize what they've done. You are suddenly a huge loss to them. They realize that what they had with you is something they will never find with anyone else. If you are watching this video, it is likely that you are an empath. You are willing to put up with all of their BS and love them anyway. While they were with you, they took this for granted and assumed that anyone would do the same thing, if not more. Of course, the reality is very different. So months go by, along with a source or two, and they can't seem to find a suitable replacement. This is where they might attempt to contact you. And if your response is clear that you want nothing to do with them, they will leave it there. From here, they will move on to find another source again and again. This process can go on for several years, several decades, and sometimes their whole lives. But between each source, they are either deeply thinking about you or even attempting to contact you. You don't know what you have until it's gone. Even for a normal person, this can be true. And for the narcissist, it hits them 10 times harder. When the narcissist is with you, 
they really believe the grass is greener on the other side. They take you and everything you do for granted, thinking that anyone will be willing to do the same if not more for you, if not more than you. When they leave you, that is when they discover the truth. You may have been deeply in love with them in the beginning, but once you've seen through their fake personality, they lose their value to you. After they have been with one source, two sources or more, you will never see them the same way again. And they know this. That's what causes them to become obsessed and start stalking you. Because you become the one person they cannot have. You will never see them the same way again. So the only other option of keeping you in their life is to harass and stalk you. It becomes like a day out for them, a bit of entertainment. Narcissists live boring and miserable lives. So chasing after you gives them a little bit of excitement. They will probably get dressed up all nice for you. They might even bring a man or woman along in an attempt to make you envious. It provides them with a mild sense of excitement and satisfaction. It also gives them a dopamine hit, which is a chemical released in their brains. So they become like junkies and use you to feed their addiction. This is what they live for and it becomes their newfound purpose in life. And they will try to impress you or make you envious in some way. But just remember, if they really had anything better to do in their lives, they will be doing that instead of harassing and stalking you. That's all for this video. I will be going deeper into this topic in part two. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you soon.